Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you the best budget loadouts in the Cycle Frontier under 30,000 K marks. When you're looking to spend a little extra but not trying to break the bank, these are the loadouts you're looking for. With this video, I'll show a couple different options to choose from depending on your playstyle. And all of these builds will use crafted armor from the printing station. If you're new to the game and not sure how to get the materials for all of these items, don't worry, I got you covered. I've got videos up on the channel on how to farm for everything and the links will be in the description below. Okay, let's dive right into it, starting with the Bulldog Sniper Loadout. This build does a great job of making you very effective at close range and long range. Medium range can be still managed very nicely if you can hit your sniper shots or maneuver and close the distance for shotgun range. Okay, so first off, we have the Bulldog, which you can buy from the ICA vendor, and this gun cannot take any attachments. That's the way it's built, so 6400 for that. And then we've got the C32 bolt action from the general vendor at 3800 And I like to put a 2X on this, obviously, for uh, 2500 Now, you can fully kit out the sniper with all white attachments, but for me personally, I just use the 2X. I find that specifically in the case of the sniper that the remaining white attachments don't provide as much value as they do on an assault rifle. But again, feel free to kit it out if you like. Next, we've got the strong stims. Obviously, definitely want to take those in. Every stack of five strong stims at the printing station costs 900, including the skip. So make sure you're doing that twice. Then I like to bring in two grenades. I think grenades are the great equalizer, especially for solo players. Make sure that you're bringing in a couple grenades. They're pretty expensive, so we keep that cost down by only bringing in two for a total of 2,800. Now, in the case of ammo, stims, and grenades, make sure that you're constantly hitting those grenade boxes and ammo boxes throughout your run. You always want to continue to stockpile as much as you can because we are cutting some cost by not bringing in four grenades or eight grenades as an example. Next on the list, we've got the ammo. So shotgun ammo, I like to bring four clicks of shotgun ammo, which is 80, and that costs us 2,040. And then one click of sniper ammo, which is 20, and it costing us 1,000. Lastly, we've got the armor package. So we've got green across the board for the bag, the helmet, and the shield. The cost on the green gear is not bad at all, but it does get pricey if you start to skip them at the crafting station. So in order to keep us on budget, you're going to want to make sure that you're crafting these ahead of time or right before you drop into raids to keep the cost down. Now that's it. That's the build in total and it'll cost you 29,340 K marks. Next up, we have a couple AR builds, but before we jump into those, I want to quickly take a look at the basic white attachment package that you'll be putting on both. This package focuses on the recoil attachments along with ADS speed and reload speed. Now, depending on which site you go with will alter your overall cost. So I personally have gone back and forth on which I think is better. I've done iron sights, red dot, holographic, 2X, but in the end, just go with your favorite. For me these days, I really feel like the, the red dot and the holographic have significantly less visual recoil. So that's my go-to for these days. In the examples that we're gonna use, we will be running a red dot. So first up, we've got the trusty Manticore loadout. This gun is still so solid from close range and medium range, and it remains incredibly versatile against players and creatures. So this build is extremely similar to the previous one with the Bulldog Sniper, only difference is the ammo, and we're not taking a secondary, which gives us more leeway on the price, coming in at 25580 With that extra value under 30000 you can add a couple more grenades, you can add some extra ammo if you like. Last up, if you're looking to spend a little bit more than 30,000, you can make a nice loadout centered more on PvP. Adding blue armor into the equation can help you win more of those tight 50-50 battles and well worth the additional investment. The only changes you're going to see here are the blue armor instead of the green armor and a white backpack instead of a green backpack, which is not too big a deal. It does keep the cost down and if you're out there grinding for PvP, you will likely find a backpack upgrade in no time. This brings the total cost of our second Manticore build to 33980 I hope this video helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite budget loadout is. And make sure to drop a sub for more Cycle Frontier content, and I'll catch you in the next one.